In this question, a person starts from the origin and they wish to reach a destination over here at a distance of 3.4 kilometers and an angle of 35 degrees north of east. However, the person must travel along streets that are oriented north, south, or east, or west. So, unfortunately, instead of walking straight from the origin to the destination, the person is going to have to walk first along the x-axis to this point, and then she's going to have to turn northward and walk along the y-axis to get to her destination. We have to find those distances, so this is just a basic trigonometry problem. We do have ourselves a right triangle, so we're going to find x first, and if we look at that right triangle, we do know that the cosine of an angle is equal to the side adjacent to the angle divided by the hypotenuse of the right triangle. Now looking at this figure, we can see that the cosine of 35 degrees would equal the adjacent, now the adjacent side to the 35 degree angle is x, and then of course the hypotenuse is 3.4 kilometers. We're gonna solve this for x by multiplying both sides of the equation by 3.4 kilometers so that we can cancel it out on the right hand side. And then we would pick up our calculators and we would punch in 3.4 times the cosine of 35, we get 2.79 and this will be in kilometers. And that's the approximate value of x, so we can go back to our drawing and label that. And now we wish to find the y component. We do know that the sine of an angle is equal to the side that is opposite of the angle divided by the hypotenuse. So in this case, the sine of 35 degrees would equal the side opposite of 35 degrees, which is y, divided by the hypotenuse of 3.4 kilometers. Once again, we just have to multiply both sides by the 3.4 kilometers, so it cancels out on the right-hand side, and 3.4 kilometers times the sine of 35 is about 1.95. So now we know that y is equal to about 1.95 kilometers. Now, to get the final answer, remember, she has to walk from the origin along the distance marked x, and then also along the distance marked y, so we just have to add together those two distances. So we're going to come down below and do that right now. So we have the x, which is 2.79 kilometers, plus the y, which was the 1.95 kilometers. And if we add those together, we get a total distance of about 4.74 kilometers. So this would be the correct answer to the question. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you're interested in making a small donation to my cause, I would greatly appreciate it, but please do not feel obligated to do so.